so. Hey, PG. Um, Coach and Kawhi both said that, you know, you guys kind of forced Dallas, especially Luka, into some tough shots, and he ended up making them. Was this a game for you guys, though, where it's like the defensive process was great, even though the result wasn't exactly what you expected? Uh, Yeah, I mean, you hold a team to 105 in today's NBA. Um, I thought we played great defense, um, but, you know, they, they hit some really, really tough shots. Um, and they made some really, really big players. Go ahead, Mason. Hey, Paul, you kind of just touched on this, but um, when, you're, when you're guarding Luca, um, what's the shot you hope that he takes or the shot that you're trying to force him to take? Um, I mean, you just want to get him inside the three-point line, um, let him play from there. Um, our defense is so good at um, and of lately of shrinking. Um, I thought we did a great job the first game of shrinking and making them play in crowds. Any shots inside the three-point line will take. Law? Good. Hey, Paul. Uh, between uh, this game and, and the game uh, right after Christmas against the Mavericks, uh, there's only two times that you guys didn't break 90 points. Uh, you had a good shooting night yourself. But uh, the rest of the team, it just didn't seem like there were enough scores out there. Like, what was Dallas doing defensively that uh, made it hard to generate offense, especially with the lineups that were on the floor tonight? Um, I mean, it just it's, it's a make or miss league. It comes down to uh, that. I thought we had a lot of open looks, um, a lot of shots that were our shots. Um, I, I think just as a team, we're going through a tough shooting stretch. Uh, I know. Myself, personally, has been going through a, a tough st- shooting stretch. Um, and then just, um, you know, lack of focus, finishing around the rim. I um, think a lot of calls not going our way. Um, we're putting a lot of pressure at the rim. It's, it's, it's insane that we're not getting these, these calls. But um, it is what it is. It's nothing new to me. Um, hopefully we'll send a bunch of clips in. Uh, league's got to take a look at this. You guys did a good job of, you know, scoring in transition the few times you guys got there, but you guys haven't really generated a lot of, of pace. Uh, what, what do you feel like is holding you guys back from uh, playing faster? Um, well, I mean, we don't have, uh, you know, Reg pushes the pace for us. Um, but, you know, I, I think we, we just, as a team, um, you know, we don't, I'm not much of a, fast paced player. Kawhi's not much of a fast paced player. Um, you know, so you know, it's 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 something that together we gotta make up. Um, but we just don't have that as a team in our DNA right now. Thanks, we'll over to Far Bob. Hey PG, um a little bit of a heavy one. Uh you know, the other the other day we saw what happened in Atlanta and we've seen a lot of NBA players you know, step up and kind of talk about, you know, the Asian hate crimes going on. And and it's not to be kind of a voice for their uh, population, but more so just to let them know that they aren't alone. And I'm just curious, you know, what were your thoughts on what you saw in Atlanta the other day? Um, You know what? I haven't seen much of it. I've, I've saw it, Um, you know, a few posts here and there. Um, I'm going to look at it on the bus uh, going to the plane. Um you know, I haven't really found much time, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm with the Asian community. Um, I stand with them. Um, I don't believe in any type of hate crime, any type of, uh, you know, we, we're all here to share this world together. Um, you know, I can't comment on the situation because I don't know much about it yet. Um, but, I, you know, I, I feel um, and I've been raised this way. Um, we share this world together. Um, it's, it's, it's no point that any race should look at another race um, any less equal than they are. Um, and it, it's, it's just, you know, it's just a, a crazy time and crazy world we live in. Um, and, 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 you know, this has to stop. We have to, uh, we have to do better um, as brothers and sisters living in this world. Thanks. We'll go over to Tomer. Hey, PG, uh, you touched on it earlier, but like, without getting you in trouble, like you, you guys took 30 shots at the rim. 
um, three shooting fouls were called, you know, like, uh, can you explain to me like what the process of like, I guess with you engaging with referees and, and, and having that conversation, uh, because it looked like you guys were getting hacked uh, quite, quite a bit tonight. Uh, like what is that conversation like to try and get more leeway with, with officials in that situation? Um, just a bunch of lies. Can't go too much further than that. It's a bunch of lies. They know what's going on. Ah, uh, okay. Is, is there, I guess, a long-term solution you see for getting out of this sort of hole? Because uh, you guys have put a, a better emphasis on going to the basket. You know, Ty and Kawhi both both uh, talked about. I mean, we can't. We, our job is to to be aggressive, attack. Um, we can't do much more than that. Like, you know, if they're not gonna call it, they're not gonna call it. It's we don't like. And, and that's that's the suck part about it because we're not flopping players. We're not players that's like throwing our bodies into other players. Like we play physical, like no different than any other player in this league. You know, um, it's, there's nothing more that we can do. We're attacking. We're putting pressure at the rim. Um, you know, it, it, it's again, it's, there's nothing I don't, that I feel unless we just start, you know, just diving and playing a. a you know, flopping game. Um, there's there's really nothing much that we can do. And you've got one last question from Andrew Greif. Paul, when when you guys are be aggressive like that and you feel like you aren't getting the calls, does there really kind of an effect that has on like the shot profile you guys have as a team for maybe starting to take more jumpers or more threes, like being being less aggressive? Is there is there a way you guys have to be on guard of we still have to be aggressive even if we feel like we're not getting the calls we deserve? Um, it's a, it's, you know, it's a fine line. Um, I'm not going to, you know, use that as a crutch for the reason of jump shots, but, um, I think it's, uh, I, I think it's on your conscience a bit, like going to the rim, attacking, um, you playing in crowds. So if you're not going to get the call, um, you're shooting a bad shot, you know, as simple as that, you're shooting a bad shot if you're not going to get the, the call. So, um, it, it, it puts you in a settling, you know, take what the defense give you instead of putting pressure on the defense um, type of deal. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that, that controls the game a little bit. Um, but I still think, you know, we, we, we had our looks. We had our fair shares of looks um, to win this game tonight. Uh, we just missed a lot of easy opportunities that we did have. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Have a good evening. Thank you, guys.